I'm Rajita Kulkarni. And I'm Maria Lawrence from the TLEX Institute. Welcome to the Mind Matters series. Four ways to get more efficient at work. In our previous videos, we looked at ways to manage our stress, our time and our mind. If you have not seen these, please click on the links on this page. Today, we will talk about three ways to improve team spirit. We all work in teams at our workplace. And in our life, we have been part of teams which have had a very good spirit, are very collaborated, have a very good cohesion. There is trust amongst team members. How did it feel to be a part of such a team? Didn't it feel very happy? Didn't you feel very confident and also capable of handling challenges? I'm sure we have also been part of teams where there was not such a good team spirit, where there was low collaboration, very low cohesion, where team members didn't trust each other. How did it feel being part of such a team? I'm sure it was very stressful. You didn't feel so happy. You didn't feel so capable of handling challenges. Which kind of a team would we like to be part of? Definitely the first type. So today we will look at ways in which we as team members, as leaders, can uplift the spirit of the team. There are three ways to do it. So let's look at the first way of building team spirit. So the first way to build team spirit is really about building my spirit. Feeling good about myself. Feeling good in my body, but also in my mind. Maybe you have noticed a day when you were really feeling good about yourself and you could easily handle any situation, any challenge that were, were coming across your way. You were supporting others, you were there for your teammates. And maybe you have also experienced situations where you were not feeling good about yourself. You felt stressed and you felt everything was just too much for you to handle. And when challenges came or you got a criticism, you could just not take it, react to it or even try to defend yourself. So the mind matters techniques really help to increase our level of energy, to feel better in our bodies, to feel better mentally and therefore be able to better support our team members and contribute to a better team spirit. The second way how we can uplift the spirit in our teams is by building trust. Now, how can we build trust in our teams? There are two ways we can do it. First, by being competent. Whatever task is assigned to us, completing it on time, doing it in a committed way, this will definitely earn us the trust of our team members. And when more team members do this, it will create an environment of trust. The second is by connecting to each other in a sincere, open, transparent, authentic way. We call it connecting from heart to heart, practicing heart to heart communication, where you look at your team members as the person behind the role he or she plays. This fosters a great environment of trust amongst the team. So two ways to build trust, focusing on your competence and enhancing connectedness within the team. So the third way in uplifting the team spirit is offer support. If we work in a space of trust, it feels very natural to ask others for help. At the same time, the willingness to support others and to ask them what they need is much higher. So let's start thinking, how can we help others? Let's ask our colleagues, what can I do, to you? What can I do for you today? How can I support you? By shifting our focus from our needs towards the needs of the others, we can definitely increase and uplift the spirit of the team. So there you are, three ways to improve team spirit. First, enhancing the quotient of my spirit. Second, building trust. And third, offering support. To know more about us, visit telexinstitute.com. This is Rajita and Maria. Thanks for being with us for the Mind Matters series, four ways to get more efficient at work.